Hi there, my name is Annie and I'm a trail guide for the Yukon Conservation Society. Today, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to paint some June flowers that you may find at Miles Canyon or Kwanlin. Before we start, I'd like to acknowledge that we're on the traditional territory of the Kwanlin Dunn First Nations and the Tongkwaton Council. Our first flower is the Arctic Lupin, which is a member of the pea family and blooms in mid to late June. It has bluish purple flowers and leaves that grow radially and catch water in them. After pollination, the flowers turn into fuzzy pea pods that contain the hard seeds. To start, I begin by painting six long leaves that point down. Adapt the middle to drag the water to where each leaf meets. I sharpen the leaf by outlining the left edge with a darker green. I then draw on some red brown stems and dot around with a light beige to mimic the white tips of the flowers. Then I go in with a bluish purple on the underside of each beige flower as well as magenta to give it depth. Outline the stem using a darker red and give the leaves a bit more depth with a yellowish green. The second flower is the narrow leaf arnica, a beautiful yellow flower which is a member of the sunflower family. It has a very tall stem and several long yellow petals that overlap from its center. It will rotate towards the sun, similar to other members of its family. First, I draw a long narrow stem with a lime green paint. From there, I draw narrow leaves from the bottom and smaller ones in the middle. After it dries, I use a more vibrant green for the shadows. Above the stem, I draw the petals of the arnica using a bright yellow. then dab orange into the center. The third flower is a prickly saxifrage, which is a member of the saxifrage family as the name implies. It has prickly leaves at the base, which curl like a rose. Each flower has five white petals that each have small purple flecks in them. I start with an orange stem at the base and green at the top, which then branches into the base of the flower. Before drawing the flower itself, I draw some small leaves at the bottom and a cylinder in the middle. I create the flowers using a very light wash of grey and after it dries completely, I dot it with purple specks. Then highlight the tip of each leaf with burgundy. Next is a showy Jacob's Ladder, a bright purple flower with five petals and leaves that seem to be in the shape of a ladder, which gives it its namesake. It grows abundantly in early June and fields of them can be spotted during that time. Using a brown color, draw some stems and branch them out. Do the same with the green stems at the base of the flower. Then paint small leaves on each side.
With a light wash of purple, create the five petals and let the color concentrate at wherever it lands. I'm just going back to the arnica now to give the middle of the flower a brighter orange color. Finally, dot the inside of the flower with some orange. Lastly, we have the Kinniknig in its flowering stage. The honeysuckles are white with a pink tip and the leaves often have spots on them. The Kinniknig has very long stems that are often hidden underground, so unlike the other flowers, we are going to paint the stem more horizontally. Using a vibrant green, we're going to paint some small leaves and gradually increase the size. Using a pale beige for the base of the white flower, draw a few circles and while the water hasn't dried, give the top of the flower a little bit of pink. Now when it completely dries, create the end of the petals using a more vibrant pink. Finally, dot the leaves with a darker green or red. Begin by creating outlines using a black pen. When outlining, it doesn't have to be perfect as sometimes when it's a little messy, it adds character to it. Finally, don't forget to label your creation. That's it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Yukon Conservation.